This is day two of our epic brook trout quest 2019 and surprise surprise Brendan hit the first fish <laughs> we just uh, we just set up camp we're actually on this we found a, I'll show it later you got the net buddy good job there's an old trapper's cabin and we're kind of using it looks like it hasn't been used in 20 years if you want to hand me the net I can get it for you that's a really nice fish it is. that's a great start Oh, that's a really nice fish, bro. Uh, the wind is blowing us into the rocks here. Here. Oh my god, I can't get it. Oh, oh, Bren. That's a dandy. Oh, what a start. And the hook just fell right in. Oh. oh, look at that big, beautiful, fat brook trout. I'd high five you, but you're a little too far away. All right. All right, that was a really short trail over to this lake. This is it. It's not really a lake. It's a tiny little pond. What you see is what you get right here. Reputed to have brook trout in it. We shall see. It's incredible though, even on this tiny, tiny little pond, the wind is brisk enough that it's blowing us around all over the place. So. Uh, we found this old white bucket there, right behind Brendan, and filled it with rocks to counterbalance things because he's quite a bit lighter than I am. So, if there's fish in here, I don't think we're going to have too much trouble finding them. Couple minutes in, Brendan strikes again. This is a smaller one, but it doesn't matter, it's a fish. So, there is brook trout in this tiny little pond. Oh, I'm, I'm snagged. Okay, that was perfect. We're gonna just drift right in here, buddy. Yeah. Nice one. Tiny little lake, or pond, whatever you want to call it. Uh-oh. Do you want me to net it? Nice little fish. <clears throat> it's barely hooked, actually. Swing it over here. Nice one. Okay, I'm gonna shut the camera off and we'll just deal with this one for now. All right, way to go. <laughs> Brendan's on fire. So he's using this uh, weaver grabber spoon, which isn't much of a surprise, but it's uh, the brown trout pattern one. Another nice, nice little male. Way to go, buddy. This little pothole lake is, uh, it's got some fish. We're just gonna, <laughs> you got splashed. We're just gonna drift down into this corner. Uh, probably, yeah. Or we can net it. They like that brown trout pattern weaver grabber. It's really cool. Yeah, here, why don't you just grab the nut? That's a nice fat one. That's a, there's nothing wrong with that fish. I would, <clears throat> yeah, just bring it in the boat if you can. He's got it by the tail. Uh, beauty, good job. Once again, this little tiny pothole lake, oh. So it's, we, we've just been, we've kind of switched tactics. Um, the wind is blowing us around, even though it's like a tiny lake. We're actually um, just jamming the canoe along brush and logs and stuff right tight to shore and casting out into the lake. That's how we're getting them. So how many is that, five or six? I, I can't even count now. They're all kind of around the same size. They're pretty quality fish. And Brendan, I mean, he's got another rod with, uh, he keeps 
switching up on but every fish that he's caught is on this um, brown trout patterned weaver grabber. Today that's the hot lure. It's a nice fat one. Yeah. Hey, that's a beauty. Way to go, buddy. All right. I can't really talk right now. I'm eating jerky. Eating jerky. The last one Brendan lost was actually pretty big. So this is a, a different spoon. I've never actually caught a brook trout on this spoon before, ever. It's a gold and red Thomas Cyclone spoon. There. Not bad. Mm-hmm. Hey. Bren just went out on shore for me, filled up uh, two Ziplocs, one with clean snow and chunks of ice for cocktails tonight, and we've got uh, some fillets here in a bag, and a Ziploc bag on ice. That'll be our dinner tonight. You gotta like early spring brook trout fishing when there's still ice in the bush. All right, this is the, uh, the old trapper's cabin that me and Bren kind of moved into. It was kind of disgusting, but uh, it looked like it was going to rain and it's pretty tight. It's got a steel roof. So we're all set up in here. Swept it out. Yeah. Friends up there all comfy. Hey, how you doing buddy? Good. Good. It's, all it's all dry in here. So this is all right. And we've been catching trout on these little pothole lakes here. We're gonna probably move on to another one tomorrow. So, should be quite the adventure. It's about an 850 meter bushwhack through some pretty dense, dense bush. What'd you say? Nothing. Bush. I said nothing. Bush. <laughs> dense bush. There you go. Okay, we bushwhacked into this lake. It's a gorgeous lake. But man, is the fishing ever hard. Yeah. I don't even know if I'm gonna, I, I got one here on a weaver grabber. What color is it? It's um, it's like a green and I'll show the camera. It's gold backed with green. Oh, please get in the net. We want you badly. So this water is like glass water clear. And uh, Brendan and I both saw this fish. We got oh. it. Flashing. Following my um, my lure in all the way from shore, like hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, and I was kind of jiggling the lure right beside the canoe right now, and I got it. That was totally crazy. Yeah, I'll try and get the. Yeah, show the. It's kind of a perch, sort of perch pattern, but with red. I think it looks like a dace actually. They usually like that one. I'm trying to get it out of the net. I don't think it's gonna happen. Well. We'll get it out of the net. We'll shut the camera off. We'll get it out of the net. But that was uh, that was that was um, I don't know how many hours of casting. Yeah. And it wasn't that easy to get into this lake. Like we bushwhacked over. I don't know. It was about four or five hundred meters from the next lake over. But we had to climb up a mountain. I didn't film it. I probably should have. <clears throat> beautiful, beautiful lake though. Anyhow, at least we know there's fish in here. Yep.